poverty and hunger are reaching alarming levels in Utah. More than 175,000 Utah kids are eligible for free school breakfasts and lunches. And another 50,000 are eligible for reduced cost meals. Tragically, these students are not eating well on the weekends. They should eat seven meals between Friday lunch and Monday breakfast, but they don't. And when they don't eat, those kids can't do homework and they can't play and exercise. You have a chance to change the lives of these little kids. Here's the good news. The Utah Food Bank has three different programs focused on feeding children. The Kids Cafe program delivers 1,700 hot after-school meals. And just as a bookmobile serves communities without a library, the Utah Food Bank's Foodmobile serves communities without food pantries. There's also a growing backpack program, which provides children with easy-to-open snacks for the weekend. The Utah Food Bank provides backpacks for one child for just $5 for a weekend and $180 for the 36-week school year. So the question becomes, how do we increase the funding to expand these small but successful programs? Well, the Super Bowl of Caring's 20-year history shows it's an excellent vehicle to fight child hunger. In 1990, a South Carolina Sunday school teacher used Super Bowl parties as a modern-day example of gluttony. Fans eat wings, pizzas, and chips they don't need, while in the same town, someone else goes hungry. The class asked everyone leaving church on Super Bowl Sunday to donate $1 from their Super Bowl party budget to fight hunger. The first year, 22 churches combined raised $5,700. In just four years, they expanded their efforts to 36 states. The seventh year, they surpassed $1 million. And the next year, they passed $2 million. From 2008 to 2012, they averaged almost $10 million per year. But the Super Bowl of Caring remains largely unknown west of Texas. KUTV General Manager Kent Crawford is combining the Super Bowl of Caring with the reach of his TV stations, KUTV and KMYU, and a website, KUTV.com, to combat child hunger. With the help of six corporate sponsors, Crawford's running a major five-week advertising campaign from January 13th to February 16th, and also hosting a day-long telethon during the KUTV newscast on January 31st. That's the Friday preceding the Super Bowl. He'd also like to see every school, every school district in Utah, raising awareness of this problem and showing students that they are a big part of the solution by participating in the 2014 Super Bowl of Caring. You can organize your school, ask the students, the staff, and the faculty to skip the chips or a soda or some pizza and instead donate that money to the Super Bowl of Caring. Some schools are also collecting in front of grocery stores, others have organized bowl-a-thons, skate-a-thons. You can be creative. When you're done, donate the money to your school district's education foundation. Many of them are partnering with the Utah Food Bank or with local and regional food pantries to fight child hunger. A couple schools even have principals and teachers who've offered to shave their head or dye their hair if the school reaches a large goal. You can report your donations online at SuperBowl.org, S-O-U-P-E-R, SuperBowl.org. Or you can call 1-800-358-SOUP, 1-800-358-7687. Report your totals there. On January 29th, Wednesday the 29th, have it done by then. You can go back and update the totals later as you raise more money. But the schools with the highest totals on Wednesday, January 29th, might be chosen to appear on KUTV's Super Bowl of Caring Telethon on the Friday before the Super Bowl, January 31st. KUTV will be raising money all day, so encourage everyone you know to watch, donate, and help. And then on Super Bowl Sunday, make sure you pass the hat at your Super Bowl party. Doesn't matter if you watch the game with two people, 20 people, or 200. Pass the hat, ask everyone to chip in a few dollars, and then either donate that money at your school on Monday, or go to KUTVN.com, make your donation there. And remember to update your totals at the Super Bowl of Caring website so we can watch the total grow and see how many kids we're able to help. Remember, all the money you raise at your school can stay in your neighborhood if you give it to your local school district's education foundation.